Hello everybody, Vlogmas day two, even though it's a week since I did the other one, I'm just doing some house cleaning and house tidying up and organisation. I'm in my room, I have been doing stuff in the other parts of the house and a whole stack of laundry today, especially mostly uniform stuff. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of a vlog showing and talking with you about stuff. Excuse my hair because, hashtag keep it real, uh, I did a quick Instagram stories just before. I was showing some shoes that I'm contemplating selling. These are the pretties that I'm gonna sell. They're 37 and look, they fit, but they do slowly stop circulation to my big toe, which means that I would probably lose it. And I am quite partial to it. And uh, you know, you need your toes to help you walk. If you don't have toes, you can't walk well. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to list them, take photos, list them, and put them up for sale. The other pair I've just put away, so I have to go and get them. They're in Talia's room. And they are these ones. These ones here. They're beautiful because they're beautiful blue crushed velvet. Nice, yeah? Hardly worn them. Anyway... I've been organizing, washing, um, what do you call them, school uniforms. I'm going to vacuum now. I need to still, let me show you. I need to tidy up that area. And it's not dirty. And it's not rubbish. It's just a whole lot of gifts that I was given. A lot of alcohol, a lot of chocolate, a lot of body products. And then there's also a whole lot of school books. These are all like piles and piles of school books mm -hmm. and folders and preparatory stuff that I need for um, uh, what you for the holidays to prepare for next year um, so yeah and I'm just going to sit down well I have already and I've written down some ideas look at my pretty mulberry should I do a review of my mulberry I haven't used it well long enough to do that to be honest um, of some what you call them YouTube ideas and I'll show you so nice writing here on this stuff on this um, on this beautiful paper the paper feels beautiful it's like really lovely I, I, to the point that I would consider buying the actual notebook again when this one is filled I really I really really love it I mean the pages are beautiful I think I'll do a review of it look at that I've got little mulberry here beautiful lined paper the cover is firm it's it's really nice I like it I'm gonna do a little review of this baby that I've already done <laughs> I showed these pants in um, my Instagram stories and these are I only just bought them last night so today's Saturday the 12th of December I bought these last night at Kmart so these are skinny extra high-rise ankle length sculpting I got a size 10 and they fit they're, they're snug on, don't get me wrong, but this is the key. See this? This makes the butt look perky perky instead of like a flat pancake, you see? And the pockets sort of like veer out a little bit like that, which is also very, very beneficial. I just love this color. I think this color is everything. So, yeah, I'm just going to do a few odd jobs around here. And so you can come with me if you like. I'm not going to do too much. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to organize my bags, take photos of the shoes. Um, I thought I would talk to you about my perfumes or do a perfume collection. But I've got to find some. They're in the cupboard over there. And then I've got some in a box elsewhere. I've got lots of perfume. Hmm. So that's that. I'm going to put this baby away because I used her for a couple weeks. And... Um, Put this one away. I am currently using my Salvatore camera bag, the Vada camera bag. I quite like it. I forget though, like so there are times when I forget that I have it, if that makes sense.
got this little brush from Kmart last night. It's a little foundation brush, but I'm going to use this to apply masks. So that's a, a, a good idea because sometimes, you know, you don't want to dip your finger in. Um, sometimes you need a spatula, but you don't always have one. So you just, you know, you get some of the, well, maybe scoop out some of the mask first and put it on something and then paint it on your face. This is just the Elf brand. Foundation brush. It's just a cheapy. I think it was about $6. So, yeah. That's uh, good enough. And tape and one of those tape dispenser things. So, I will eventually need this one day when I move again. So, I'm going to have to start boxing up some stuff. Especially school stuff now because I'm on school holidays. I won't need a lot of it yet. Um, and then just, you know, unbox it as I need it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I've tidied up this area here. I'm going to make a conscious effort to read this book. A friend loaned me this and I'm hoping to get it read over the holidays. So I'm going to sit down and start reading. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean this little uh, container that I use to hold my perfumes. I have many more perfumes, but um, I think I'll do a separate dedicated video to my perfume, perfume collection. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to clean these. So you're welcome to join me if you want to see me clean. that's one job done well one of many um, I'm going to now sit down and no I'm going to vacuum and then tidy myself up a little bit and I'm going to do maybe a couple of videos I have a couple of um, quite a few tag videos to catch up on so thank you to everyone who tagged me please keep doing so I will get to them uh, now that I'm on holidays school has finished I'm on holidays now until the end of Jan um, I will have more time to do those um, so I've tidied up my room mostly the desk and the things are sort of like up off the floor and a little bit tidier um but the top of the desk is messy again um i thought that i would also start sorting clothes and packing up winter clothes and just keeping my summer stuff out because it's starting to get warm today's warm it's about 29 degrees it's quite hot up here actually um and i intend to go for a walk later because my keto diet has well suffered i'm still okay but it's suffered so i want to sort of like get back on track with that and that's it but i am going to sit down and have a coffee no i'll vacuum first and then my coffee can be my reward so see you in a bit you don't need to send me vacuuming actually you will see me vacuuming one thing and that's because i have to i may as well tell you now my laptop my laptop is becoming a problem i'll show you so what's happening here is that I think underneath here inside where the fans are, uh, the fans must be clogged with dust or something because these last probably three months or so, what's happening is my laptop has started rattling when I'm using it. So if it like warms up a bit and I feel that it gets hot quickly, um, it started rattling. It just starts off minor, just a, a slight rattle and then it gets quite loud. So and the people at work have said, holy crap, Tan, what's going on? don't know mate I think it's going to take off soon you know it's got to start levitating and that type of thing um, so I went to IT and they advised that I vacuum get a vacuum and like suck the dust out here which is ironic because that's what I thought I thought I wonder if I can just vacuum I better not it's a work laptop I don't want to wreck it or ruin it knowing my luck everything will fall apart so I thought no nah, I better ask first but he told me to vacuum it so that's what I'm going to do and that's probably the only thing you'll see me vacuum today but I'm going to vacuum everything. <laughs> See you soon.
Okay, so I'm back. I've done a fair bit of cleaning and I'm going to eat something now. And this is not going to look very attractive to you, but <laughs> this is a piece of, those of you who are Italian will know immediately what that is, but that is a piece of panforte. Basically, it's an Italian Christmas cake, but it's not very cakey. It's made with a whole stack of dried fruit and nuts and spices. And um, there's no flour in it to, like, to bind it together. What do they use? You know, I've never made it, but I've always enjoyed it. And this came, was given to me, this great big wheel of homemade, amazing panforte was given to me by an awesome student, awesome kid. He's a great kid. Taught him last year and not this year, but yeah, helped him out a lot and stuff. And his thank you was two packets of homemade biscuits that his mum had made him. You know, the biscotti, which are sort of like a little bit moon shaped with the nuts in them. And um, some crostoli, which are f like deep fried, well fried Italian pastry biscuits. Um, and they're usually rectangular and they usually have like a slit in the middle and sometimes they're twisted depending on how you make the dough. So they're made with dough and then fried. There are various recipes. Anyway, they didn't last long. <laughs> and he gave me this beautiful wheel of panforte that his mum had made. And, oh my God, the spices in it, it, it's just pure Christmas. Cinnamon, ginger, paprika, clove. All, all of those spices. Oh my God, freaking amazing. And I've still got it because I only just have a slither now and then. And today it felt like it. And um, and he also gifted me a gift voucher. <sighs> That's too much. But I helped him out and he, he and his mum wanted to do that. So anyway, he's an ex-student now. He's no longer a student and all that sort of business. So yeah, I'm going to use that voucher with a couple of other vouchers. I received another one from a student. Um, and another one last year and then another one also last year I'm going to pull them all together and I'm going to buy something very special don't know yet I don't know if I'm going to put them towards a super special perfume or maybe towards a pair of Valentino shoes maybe or maybe towards I don't know some maybe an SLG maybe a piece of jewelry of some kind um, it wouldn't be too high-end jewelry but you know anyway so all of that aside I've done enough work around the place that I you know I'm gonna reward myself with this and yeah it's not keto friendly in the least not at all but you know I wanted to chat because I wanted to ask you guys if you're interested in replying and if you watch this far into the vlog what would what else would you like to see from me on my channel I'm I'm trying to find my niche I'm really trying to find my sweet spot and it seems like um, I do lux I do reviews I do unboxings I do reveals I do vlogs but it seems like my thing is mostly outfit of the day videos because that's something I can do on a regular basis um, I'm happy to do all the other videos uh, those things take a lot more preparation, you know, like tags and all that. And, and I will continue to do those. But I'm trying to find my niche. And I think I think my niche is outfit of the day videos with chats. But I'm not sure. And and I'm not sure if you see me that way. So am I an outfit of the day type of YouTuber? Like, do you come to me for outfit of the day and chats? Um I'm growing really, really slowly. I am growing, praise God, and thank you to you guys. But I wish I could grow more. So how do I seem to you? Like, how do I come across to you? What am I in terms of a YouTuber to you guys? Because I'm trying to work out how you guys think of me. Because I get a lot of views from non-subscribers. Um, my views are still low, you know, compared to my previous channel. I was just wondering how you guys see me and what else would you like to see from me? I've got my list happening that I showed you earlier in my uh, agenda there. So I sort of have an idea of where I'm going now in these next few weeks. Um, uh, I will be doing more collaborations too, but I'm just trying to work out what I'm known for. Also, I'm curious, what are your thoughts on haul videos? Um, the luxury videos, the haul videos, the try-ons, they get the views. 
So what are your thoughts on that? Um, because what I tend to do is I do have whole videos and there's one that I'm still editing because I talked far too much in it. So I'm like trying to trim it down. What are your thoughts on them though? Because I know a lot of people criticize haul videos. Uh, my hauls are not major luxury hauls because, hey, hashtag keep it real. That ain't going to happen. I can't afford that. What are your thoughts on them? Um, I enjoy them. But there are some, you know, there are some times when I, I watch some YouTubers who do major luxury haul videos and it's a little bit sickening if I can say that and I'm going to say that because some of them seem so clueless to how much wealth they have or how much wealth they, they're demonstrating because we don't know what goes on behind the scenes. We don't know how much debt they're in, if at all, right? But what are your thoughts about those type of haul videos? I sometimes am sickened by them because... I sort of, I just don't know what to think. Um, I, I like to show and share things with you. But, and when I do uh, build up a, a number of things to share with you, that's happened over a number of months. You know, I don't go out and buy, 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 buy all in one hit because I can't do that. <laughs> Bills, expenses, kids, health insurance, dental, um, school fees. <sighs> Holy smokes, Batman. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be covered. So just shopping, just feeding the kids. That in itself is a huge haul. <laughs> So just wondering what you're thinking about that. So if I can ask you again, like what, what else would you like to see from me? What are your thoughts about haul videos and how do I come across to you guys? Like what am I to you? That's it guys. That's my uh, vlog for you today with a little bit of a chat, with a little bit of a like live talk. Take care. God bless. I'll touch base with you next time. And thank you so much.